the strangest window in the entire world. It's called the Ames window and we showed it to you three years ago on an electric motor spinning around and it did strange things to your brain because it's an optical illusion. Well, we had so many letters about it that we decided to make another one, this time a smaller one that you can make at home. You won't need an electric motor to spin it. You can spin it with a piece of cotton thread. Well, here's the pattern for it. You notice that it's not a rectangle. It's actually a trapezoid. It slopes in towards one end. Now, your brain tells you that most windows are rectangles, even when you know they're not. And that's the whole basis for the illusion. What you need to do is to find some thick cardboard, which is the same colour on both sides, and then mark out around that window. Now, once you've done that, you'll then cut it out with a good pair of scissors or one of these safe cutting knives, and you'll end up with a piece of cardboard shaped like that. Now, you'll also need to mark out the internal spaces on the window, and to do that, you can simply press through with a ballpoint pen and then mark them out with a felt-tipped pen. Okay, now once you've done that, one more thing to do with your safe cutter, and that's to cut out the spaces there. This will take you quite some time, but at the end of it all, you will have a window that looks just like our big one, except it's on a small scale. And you'll shade in with a coloured pen those sides there, making sure that it's exactly the same on each side. There we are. Now, whichever way you look at that, your brain will tell you that the long end is nearer to you. Now, it is nearer to you now, but now I'll put it back near my body. Now it's nearer to me, but it still looks as if it's nearer you, doesn't it? Because you're used to seeing things bigger when they are closer to you. Now, here's the spinning motor. It's simply a piece of cotton thread tied to this corner and tied to the other corner. And I've wound it around in my fingers so that when I let it go in a moment, it'll unwind, the thread will unwind, and you'll see the thing spinning. There we are. I'll hold it the same level as your eyes and we'll let it go. Now you know that it's turning around in circles. In fact, if you look at it from above, you can see that it's turning around in a circle. But now your brain is doing something strange. It's telling you that it's not going around in a circle, but it's oscillating. In other words, it's turning part way, stopping, and then going back the other way. Now that's a strange effect, isn't it? But if you think that's strange, wait till I add something through the middle. What am I going to add? Well, I'm going to add a ballpoint pen. And to do that, I've placed a little piece of double-sided sticky tape on the ballpoint pen. You can use ordinary sticky tape if you like. I'll place it right through the centre of the window and press it in place like that. Now this time, by fixing on the pen, you'll be able to see that the pen is going around in a circle and not going backwards and forwards. But what's your brain going to tell you about the window? Will your brain allow you to see the window going around in a circle will the, with the pen? Or are you going to see something really strange? Well, have a look at that. <laughs> it's unbelievable, isn't it? You can see the pen going around in a circle, but your brain is telling you that the window is going part way around and turning and going the other way. And yet in order to do that, the two things have to pass through one another, the pen and the window. You know it's not possible. You know it can't happen. And yet as you look at it, you see them going through one another every time they go around. An amazing illusion, the Ames window. And I think you're going to have a lot of fun making your own.